Hello, I'm Doug and this is the Taste and Sensibility channel. And today on Honey Review number 23, we're doing three citrus blossom honeys that are not orange. So we're doing a lemon, a lime, and a lime. I was gonna do them all in one episode, but I wound up getting six just orange. And then I wound up with two limes. And before you know it, it's too many to do in one episode. So these are fairly similar, and the orange ones are so nuanced and nice, I thought they deserved their own episode. So here we are with these three. So this first one is an Italian company, an Italian honey, Sol Mialato. They have a good website, but it's in Italian, so I can't read it. But the honey is a nice looking, really light in color. Very yellow and smells lemony. Doesn't really have any of the sour funk that a lot of the honeys have been having, but it's bright and citrusy. And you would probably settle on lemon just from the smell. It's got lemon oil components like it from the skin. So the lemon peel things are in there. So that is a good smell and makes you really optimistic about what it tastes like. So let's find out. Wow, very thick mouth coating. Oh, that's bright. Bright, fruity, floral, but you're not sure what the flower is. Wow, thick, syrupy. But the sweetness is a fruity sweetness and not a sugary sweetness. And there's no real tartness from the, the lemon component. It's just the oily peel type lemon notes and none of the citric acid or sour juice where you would make a face when you're eating a lemon. Wow, that is nice. Mouth coating, thick. <laughs> heavy and bright at the same time, if you can picture that. Well, let me do it with a spoon because I want to get more of this. That little toothpick taste is just not enough. I'm sure I might get a couple more notes. With a larger volume. Wow. Creamy texture, buttery note. Fruity sweetness, oh, oh man. Wow, okay, gotta put this on some bread. Got a buttermilk biscuit here, I'm gonna put it on with this spoon and see how that lemony character makes it through the bread part. This would be a good thing to wake up to in the morning with breakfast. Oh, good. Get to lick it again. That is amazing. So this is just a uh, buttermilk biscuit. browns bottom so there's other competing tastes and flavors and you don't get a lot of sweetness but you get the uh, the fruitiness of the lemon blossom honey coming through You might not be able to identify it as this lemon blossom honey, which has, it's very distinctive. And it's not really like an orange blossom honey, but it, it's a fruity sweetness that covers the whole biscuit. So the lemon character doesn't make it through the biscuit, but it is good, it's sweet. 
it's going to go with a lot of foods just fine. So they have a website. I'll put a link to it. And then there's also a link to a PDF with all their product descriptions in English. So I'll have both of those down in the description. This next one is a little bit of a hybrid company or product. This is a U.S. importer of a, an Italian product. So it's certified USDA organic and non-GMO. The importer is called Regani di Asiago. And there, uh, honey definitely comes from Italy. This one's also certified organic by some European body. So that's on the label there. But uh, these guys have a website and I will put a link to that one down in the description too. Now this is a lime blossom honey. It's they say limited edition. So I don't know if that's rare or hard to get or just hard for them to get. So on the nose, this one does have some of that sour funk that's in a lot of the honeys. You know, rotting wood or leaves, it's not real strong, but it's sour and you're thinking, ooh, what went wrong here? But uh, I've learned not to be afraid of that at all. And I, there's a citrus or a bright note, but you wouldn't identify it as lime or lemon or anything else. So it makes you wonder what's in there. But uh, I have learned this is quite different on the taste. Let's get it. Ooh, this is thinner. Whoa. Just a strong, bold, non-sour lime note. You know it's citrus. And you might not think lime right off the bat because the sour part isn't there. So if someone told you lime, you go, oh, yeah, yeah. Then you go, where's the sour? So I'm not sure I've ever had uh, lime oil the same way I've been around lemon oil and orange oil from the peel. So that would be an interesting uh, comparison to make. So is this something like the oil from the peel of the lime? That is a strong flavor. It's herbally, it's green, not quite leafy, but I'm not sure, you know, stem, wood, I'm not sure what part. There's an herbal note right in the middle of it. It's not real strong. It makes you think something green. That is amazing different than anything else we've had here. So that one's pretty good. Oh, let's see, but I didn't really talk about availability here. This I got from Amazon for about $19. So, and for eight ounces or so, that's, that's pretty steep. I think I, this one I got from the Italy website for about 14, and then moving on to another lime. This is a product of the UK. It's a UK company, a UK farm or a beekeeper business. They have lots of organic honeys. Again, organic lime flower honey certified by a EU group and by a British group. So on the nose, this one's even stronger with that lime oil note that's just bright and fresh and jumps out. You don't have to go looking for it. There's no funk, no sour, no rotting anything in here, but it's bright, citrusy. You might not think lime right off the bat. I didn't think lime right off the bat, but when you know it's lime, you go, oh, yeah, yeah. That's a big part of the lime smell and flavor. It's just not sour in any way. So if you're expecting tart, you'll be surprised. Hmm. Wow, so fruity, it's really intense. It's got a pretty good mouth coating characteristic. Thick, creamy, buttery in texture, and maybe a hint of buttery in the taste. 
Wow. That is just so intense. It's hard to explain to people what this tastes like. It's worth hunting down and very special. Mm. Both of these lime honeys are unlike anything else I've had. Strong and intense flavors. This one's starting to crystallize a little bit, but it's in a glass jar. Should be easy to put back into solution with some hot water. And this one is just nice and uh, it's got a little haze, but it's not started to crystallize yet. And it just tastes gorgeous. Let's put a little bit on some bread and see how it competes with uh, a seeded rye bread. I did this test before. It was pretty strong. Let's see how it hits me today. We'll do the tea thing also. Oh wow. Got lime note all over the place. Uh-oh. A little drip. Wow. So the lemon notes in this one kind of got lost on the biscuit. The lime notes are not getting lost. They are jumping out. And this guy is startling. And this one's right behind it. Mmm. Wow. Pause. So I think I got this one on Amazon for about 20 bucks for 370 grams, less than a pound. It's kind of like a 12 ounce amount. I'm going to go ahead and put this in some tea and see how that intense lime comes through with that. Tablespoon or so. To a mild black tea, keep on and put that over there. Okay, I'll dissolve hilltop lime blossom honey. Wow, it's not very sweet. No, half are. Two thirds of the lime flavor and lime notes remain. It's not all that intense, but it was so intense it would it would take over if it was. It says fruity and nice and bright, brightens up the tea. I overbrewed it a little bit, so it's a little strong and bitter and astringent. But this this fixed it right up. It's not really sweetness that it's adding. It's the bright citrusy notes. So that is uh, amazing stuff. And this is right there with it. And the lemon doesn't strike me as being uh, as strong or as intense in the same ways. But also good. Different than most. So these are really good to know about. So if you like the reviews that you're seeing here, give the review a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Leave some comments down there. And look for the links here in the descriptions. None of these things are sponsored or anything, but I just want to let you know how to get some of these. And please subscribe to the channel. Ring, ring the bell. Click the bell icon for notifications when new videos come out. And we publish on Mondays and Thursdays. And we have a few more reviews coming up. We're gonna do all the orange blossom honeys in the next round. We've got some wildflower honey comparisons coming up. And then uh, our final few shows are about uh, presentation and local honeys and honey and spirits. So that will be interesting. So stay tuned for all those things. And that's all for now.